So it has officially been one year since I've had my 30L Omen PC. Should I say gaming desktop uh, pre-built? Yeah, that's what it's called. It's been a year. I've made a couple of videos on my PC, basically giving it like a whole review and stuff like that for people that want to buy it like yourself, who's probably watching this video. I always get questions to this day asking me, how is the PC running? Has it blown up yet? Sadly, it has not. Well, actually, good thing. I don't know why I'm saying sadly. I've made an unboxing video that, that was a tremendous ugly video. Okay, ignore that. I've also made a one month review on this pc pretty much giving this a, a good review so far but now it's been a whole year I, I might have like a couple of days left for it to be a year but you know what i mean all right it's officially been one year now by no means at all is this a professional pc guide review i myself am just showing you my experience with my pc i am not a pc guru so don't come at me in the comments saying oh my god this wasn't official uh, this video sucked ass it didn't give no information it was you you're useless okay it's just my point of view how i'm running it let's get it of course hit that like subscribe button i have been uh i have been in my lately but you know your boys gonna start posting again first and foremost okay when i first got this pc of course i am not sure what it's priced at right now if i can find it i will for sure put a screen on i will put it like on the screen for you guys right now if y'all don't see it either i couldn't find it or i forgot but most likely it's gonna be on the screen but from what i remember i at least spent at least like 14 to 1300 on this pc straight stock all right the 30l gaming desktop with about 8 gigabytes of ram and uh yeah the same thing all right ryzen 5 amd and straight as soon as i got the pc i needed one more gigabytes of ram because i was not finna survive with eight i probably wouldn't even be able to run minecraft so i bought another stick as soon as i got my pc i literally caught up my one of my boys he hooked me up with a stick plugged it into the pc and we were done so i did say that in my one month review I, of course that's what i did so besides the point okay i did get another gigabyte of sticks of ram so now i have 16 so with 16 it's been doing phenomenal okay i've been doing pretty good i haven't ran any like top tier ass game again this pc is not gonna run phenomenal like super high ultra settings it's not gonna even run probably good at high I recommend you just probably play it at low or medium you should be phenomenal you should be all right now the games that i've been playing ever since and things like that of course it's warzone i've been playing red dead online gta those games are pretty pretty powerful okay they're pretty big games so the pc has been holding up pretty good warzone of course is probably crashed on me a couple of times but that is because it's warzone and warzone just likes to crash has nothing to do with my pc so yes what i've done to my pc i basically upgraded the gigabytes of ram and a couple of months after that uh i actually ended up getting a liquid cooler fan i believe that's what it's called okay like i said i'm not a pc nerd but i did get a liquid cooler pretty much cool it up faster and better and when i tell you right now it's the best thing that you need to do to your pc your 30l desktop gaming pc you need to do this now the reason i say you need to do this is because i write like i said myself i'm not a pc guy so i just plugged in my pc i was like all right let's run some games i finally started downloading things and like that and uh months passed and i finally checked how much like my temperatures are and they were completely terrible idling it was probably like at a 30 i'm not too sure i can't really explain to you guys but whenever i checked the temperatures it, it was like my i'm surprised my pc didn't catch on fire i made sure to check on before and after with one of my friends who helped me set up the liquid cooler we made sure to test it out before see what it would change to after and the after effects was crazy now i don't have a picture on what it looked like before but i could tell you it was like at least like 30s to 40s okay so here's what the temperatures are now is it touches like around 50 to like 60 on a good day you know what i'm saying when i'm not running audacity or even obs studio and this is just when i'm just idling now note this okay and uh after i changed my liquid cooler i basically did not have not repasted in a long time i know you're supposed to uh uh, but like I said, I'm not a PC nerd. I will have my time to get to that so I'm sure if I paste it better and things like that to the CPU It'll probably run way better So now of course it's not gonna change the performance like by changing up to like goddamn ultra high quality But it still does a very dramatic change for this uh, desktop PC. That's basically a pre-built So in a whole year, that's basically all the changes that I have done I added a stick and I've added a cooling fan. This isn't a long-term PC Of course, I'm gonna build up to a better PC probably still not gonna build it myself because that's not my type of job you know what i'm saying but has it been surviving it's been surviving for this whole year like gratefully it has not done anything to kind of trash up on me and like just mess up i know a lot of people have been saying that they had problems with their omen pc i currently myself have not been having any issues it runs warzone at about like 90 to probably if you get lucky like 111 uh, frames per second so if you want to go ahead and get you this pc for like pc gaming and things like that I, I recommend it bro like i still recommend this pc for anybody still trying to get one i'm not sure if they're in stock i know everybody's been buying up these 
these PCs just because they're actually a good bang for their buck. It runs any game pretty much basically better than console nowadays. Even though console like on PS5 or Xbox Series X, uh, those are running like stupid good. So I recommend if you don't want to get into the PC life to just get a console. But if you want to get into PC life just for the games, uh, just for anything in general, a PC is highly recommended. For a great starter, this is a bang for your buck. But like I said, you might want to add the fees of you actually having to buy another stick of RAM and as well as a cooling fan and learn how to set that up. Or you can get the pre-built that's above this one and it already has pretty much good stats on it because the fans on the PC, is kind of, they're kind of trash, I'm not gonna lie. The cooling fan that it gives you like stock is, is literally trash. So will this PC last for another year? Uh, I hope so because I'm going to be gaming for another while. As well as it helps me run my YouTube, I'm editing, it runs pretty good. Some, some softwares, it kind of runs slow, but then again, it's not an editing like PC. So this is mainly like a gaming PC. I still use it for everything as in editing, making videos, using OBS Studio, OBS Labs, whatever, Streamlabs. So yeah, man, in this whole year, I have nothing bad to say about my PC. It's been my baby, my beautiful child. Like again, I might get lags here and there, but that is because I have so much stuff running and that's what's gonna happen, okay? You can't just be having too much things running at once. The PC works great for streaming and playing a game on it. Depends what game, okay? Now, if you're playing Warzone, a highly powerful game that needs, like uses a lot of your PC, I recommend you do not stream. If you play Fortnite or something, yeah, it's gonna work way better for you guys. This is just my experience with the whole year of using my PC, what I've done with it, how it's been running for me, what I've upgraded. Of course, it needs a lot of more cleaning inside of the PC, which I highly recommend that uh, everybody does. And I should recommend that shit to myself because I don't even do it. I also did get an external hard drive of one terabyte. So I really, yeah, you should really get one of those as well. Just for your games, because if you hold it in your C drive, which is onto your PC itself, it's gonna, your PC is gonna slow down tremendously. So yeah, man, a year experience, I still get this PC probably like a eight out of 10 just because straight from stock is probably not going to work good for you. You still have to buy extra parts in order to make the PC good, like the way I have it for right now. And that's just all I got to say about this PC. It's been wonderful to me. I'm very grateful for it. Of course, I will be upgrading in the future, but this is a great starter for anybody out there who wants their first PC, just like I did. If you're trash talking this video because I didn't give super informative information, I'm sorry, okay? This is my experience with the one year of my PC. And I really hope you guys did enjoy. Kiss you all on your forehead. See you in the next one. Peace.